right, well, that's good. Like you said, yeah, diversion. Let's talk yeah. about what's happening right now. Uh, today's going to be beautiful. Yesterday was not, right? We had that uh, stationary front that finally left us, so no precipitation in the forecast today. High pressure is going to be over us. We do have a developing system, though. Uh, while the rain future cast says it's dry right now, we do have a developing system. And I told you that, you know, April, you can see snow. Remember I said that? <laughs> and there's the snow, it says here. And this could be a, a nor'easter or, or a coastal low, whatever you want to call it. So after 6.15, I'll explain that. Story number two, it's been nice. Uh, we've had a great stretch of weather. And I can show you by using the calendar, that is the truth. Look, we started off at the 1st of April for April Fool's Day at 58, and we dropped like a rock to 39 on the 2nd. But then we had a stretch, a beautiful stretch from Sunday the 4th all the way until the uh, 8th, where we had temperatures in the 60s, upper 60s to the low 70s, even on Saturday. So we've had a good start, and we're going to get right back up there today because right now the temperatures with light winds out of the north are somewhere between 34 and Westchester, upper 30s, East Fishkill. We're in the mid 40s for the boroughs, about the same now close in Jersey. South and central Jersey, you are at around 45, 52 in Red Bank, low 40s over Long Island. We'll get up to 65 for a high for the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, Manhattan, over to Hoboken, Weehawken, Jersey City, Fort Lee, Passaic, and Lodi. Uh, yeah, 64 at Long Island. So today, perfect day to get outside with the kids after they do their schooling, or if you're coming home at 4 or 5 o'clock, it's going to be nice. Now, the jet stream ridges we on tomorrow, Wednesday. So you know that means that we're tapping into that warmth down there in, in Atlanta, Georgia, 74 and 76 in Raleigh. We're going to transport it towards us, and we're going to get up to 71, 72, maybe even 73 degrees tomorrow for hump day because of the winds out of the southwest. That's the key. Southerly flow warms us up. Just the opposite, though, from Wednesday into Friday as this low ejects, brings us the precip, and then it lets that colder air that resides in Canada over us and we'll get a wind chill possibly Friday morning, 6 to 8 a.m. of 33 degrees. That's a rude awakening when you're talking about a high of 71 on Wednesday. So 65 today, 71 tomorrow. You see the winds out of the southwest. That's the key. And then that northeast wind on Thursday says maybe a nor'easter is possible for us. And by Friday, temperatures drop. Wind chills, wind chills. But by Saturday and Sunday, Marissa, we're going to re rebound again. And that's what happens in March and April on these transitional months. It's all about the winds.